What's up, guys? Uh, sorry for that coffee intro. Super cliche. Honestly, drives me insane. But I got a new espresso machine, the Breville Barista Express, and I'm super stoked about it. Um, had to try it out. I'm trying to dial in my espresso right now and get a hang of this steam one here because um, they're all different on every machine and uh, trying to get my latte art, you know, dialed in. But um, yeah, it's, uh, I did okay. Um, not too bad today. Uh, I got a little like flower type thing. So yeah, um, now that I got my coffee made, I just wanted to sit down and talk about why I bought a red Komodo and kind of what that means. Uh, for me, my career, and this YouTube channel. So, uh, yeah, let's go sit down and sip some coffee and talk cameras. <coughs> I literally inhaled that. <laughs> so, I bought the red Komodo. Um, yeah, I never thought I'd own one. This is crazy. Uh, the fact that I have it in my apartment and I can look at it every day uh, blows my mind. And it is, um, I'm super blessed and fortunate to be able to afford it and to have one now in my career. Um, never thought this day would come, never thought I needed one. Um, it was insane when I was buying it, when I ordered it on BNH, I had a wish list I'd built out, right? It's a lot of money and I'll get into that later, but uh, probably the biggest single purchase I've made uh, for my career, that is. Um, and I actually filmed it when I bought it. It was like a straight dopamine, adrenaline, stress, anxiety, all at the same time. So watch this clip real quick uh, of me buying it. Um, so I'm gonna click add all to cart and uh, we're gonna see what the final total is and what the damage is and uh, we're gonna make this order. So tax is $639, um, expected nothing less. All right, I'm just gonna make sure that I have everything I need and everything squared away before I begin checkout, so stand by. I'm extremely nervous right now. I feel like I don't deserve this camera or I don't need it. Um, and I could be like putting this money towards like lighting or something else, but uh, I really, I really want this. I really want to get into it. I want to try it. I want to level up visuals, things like that. So I'm going to do it. And uh, this is crazy. So holy crap. <laughs> I'm like so scared right now. I don't know why. Like, I just want to make sure I have everything for it to like work, you know? Okay, I'm doing it. Here we go. I'm about to buy my first red camera. Hopefully I don't regret this and place order. <laughs> oh, this always happens with big purchases. <sighs> On problem with your payment method, I need to go change my limit on my account. They think someone stole my account. Stand by. All right, so now I have updated my uh, bank account limit to uh, 9,000 just to be sure. Um, it is done. So I literally hit purchase and thought it was done. I've done it. I've made the commitment and an error came up because of my debit card bank account limit was like $3,000 or something like that. And uh, I had to go to my bank account real quick and switch it to, you know, way higher than that. Um, and had to click it again. And honestly, it was like the same amount of pressure and stress the second time around, but um, I finally bought the red. So I just kind of want to talk about why I got the red Komodo, why I upgraded from the Black Magic, why I felt that I needed it, and kind of what that means moving forward here. So it's funny because I, I came from a run and gun background, uh, starting working in a church, uh, vlogging, doing kind of like your promo videos that, you know, you do on a, on a DSLR mirrorless camera, something like that. And I just, I didn't think I'd ever have the technical knowledge. Um, I never had film school. I never thought I'd get good enough to be in a position that I am now, really. And, uh, you know, it was great. I, I loved it, but I thought I'd be doing internet videos and social media branding um, for the long, long run. And um, now that I'm stepping into more of a cinematographer role, taking that role on, on bigger productions, I'm doing more set work, uh, you know, taking on these bigger projects where I am directing and DPing and, um, you know, doing other things as well. Uh, I just felt it's, you know, it's time. I've got the technical knowledge now. Um, it's not where I thought I was gonna go, but here we are. And I think that's pretty typical for most people's career. Um, it's not, you end up where you didn't expect you'd end up. And I'm totally stoked about it. Like, 
you know, I've, I've made it this far on my mirrorless camera and I'm just now jumping into red and um, these, um, you know, bigger productions and things like that, that, you know, more money's getting flung around, there's crews, things like that. So um, no, I, I feel like I'm ready for it. And I feel uh, super blessed that I'm here in this position and um, I'm, I'm excited to, to share this knowledge and what I kind of learn and figure out along the way with you guys. So, so the reason I decided to like actually own a red, um, the red Komodo to be specific, uh, is because I needed something that was industry standard for the productions that I was kind of working on at that time. And it makes me more marketable when I have uh, a red in my arsenal. Like I don't have to rent it and it doesn't cost extra on top of my fees. It was a nice thought thinking I could market myself as a red owner. Cause I also needed something that was just more reliable than the black magic 6k pro. I needed something that just had like a more compact build and I could have easily, you know, built my black magic out to, you know, run V mount with rails and all this stuff. But I could have spent, you know, $2,000 building that out or spend a few extra thousand dollars, just get a red. It all kind of fits together. I don't, have to, I don't have to piece together like, you know, 25 things for it just to have a better battery life. You know what I mean? So basically I just thought it would be, it was time to um, upgrade, put the money in and invest in the future. And I got the red just cause it's got better battery image. It's super compact. It's so well balanced, things like that. So with that being said, let's uh, actually take a look at the red and um, look at the build that I, that I made here. So uh, this is it. Um, the body is, uh, yeah, a lot smaller than I thought it would be. That's for sure. And the cube size, like the cube shape. I mean, I thought it'd be weird, but it's so much better to, to handle than the black magic believe it or not it's like the black magic has like your traditional dslr um like mirrorless feel to it and look and like body to it but like this feels really good so that was shock number one and um basically i'm just gonna run you through my build here and uh and i can link all this stuff below if you want to make a similar build or if you're looking in, to get into the into reds and stuff like that so uh, got the body here. It's just the black edition. They didn't have the white like Stormtrooper one, unfortunately. Um, and then I've got a small rig cage, I believe. Let me double check. Yes. And the reason I went with small rig was because they had these really cool um, spots down here in, in the bottom of it where they hide like Allen keys and they have like a quarter inch screw head um, like screwdriver thing. And that's super cool, super handy. Um, I don't have to keep it in my pockets or on my keys. It's just like in the camera, right? Like it's super dope. And then these handles here, the top handle, the side handle, it might look familiar. It's from my Black Magic. Uh, if you've seen those behind the scenes videos. Um, so I saved some money there. They, I swapped them over. This just goes on to a NATO, NATO rail and the top handle just screws in like an RE mount. Um, I believe the side handle is small rig. The top handle is small rig as well. Yeah. So again, more small rig. <laughs> um, and then on top here, I have a small rig elbow. Uh, mount for the monitor and I'm running the Shinobi uh, from Atomos. Um, this is the seven inch version. Apparently it's fairly new. I think they've had the five inch out for a while, but this is my first Atomos um, monitor I've ever owned. And uh, I gotta say, I love it. It's it's pretty cheap as far as monitor goes, um, but it's you know, a little plasticky and stuff, but man, it is like super sharp. It's a well-balanced image, um, very like tuned to the true colors that you're getting on your red. Uh, moving on, on the back here, I've got the Tilta um, battery plate. So this goes um, into uh, where the Canon BP batteries would go. This one is from Tilta because uh, this is the only vertically mounted one. It came out like literally like three days to a week before I uh, built this rig out. And they had it only side mounted to where your V-mount battery would be sideways and I just didn't like it would stick out far to the right and you know I like it to be very symmetrical and balanced and like look really compact so they had this vertical one they were coming out with because that was a common complaint among people so I, I snagged it just in time I love it it's got um, a detap port on top and two uh, two pin uh, inputs and then it's got a detap on the side and a USB port on the other side which is like really handy um, and then basically this V mount, uh, I got from, I guess the company is like Hypercore Neo mini, something like that. Nine. 
I don't know, it's really nice. It's got LED indicators on the side, and then that's got this awesome screen um, that tells you the runtime and percent uh, battery left and stuff like that. So really nice like rubbery kind of material on it. And it's like super small and compact, but it has the same runtime as the other, other ones that are bigger. Um, so yeah, that just kind of slides in there really easily and it's, it's locked in. You can see just how well balanced this, this whole thing is and just how um, clean it looks. And, and this is the bare bones um, things, accessories you need to just use the camera for it to work, right? That being said, the price of this build out was surprisingly cheap as far as um, people's, you know, Red Komodo builds go. Uh, most people say you can't build one out for under, you know, $10,000, but I, that's total crap. Like I literally built this for 8,700. That's a lot cheaper than I thought it would be. Yeah, that's basically the build, but um, another, you know, 150 bucks for some cables like SDIs and DTAP connectors and things like that. And then you've got yourself a red. So, um, yeah, that's, that's my, that's my build out basically. So all in all, I just really love this camera. I was nervous about it just because of a few things, but you know, it's super user friendly. It took me like barely a couple hours to figure out how to use it. And after a couple shoots with it, I feel like I've been using it for, for years. So I'm genuinely surprised of how much I love it and how much I love to use it. Um, and I will still be using my Blackmagic and some Sony cameras for things, especially YouTube and whatnot or run and gun things that I, I can't you know get the red into. Um, but this is definitely my A cam right now. This is something that I'm gonna be using moving forward. Um, and I hope this doesn't you know, alter kind of the content or the relatability of my content for some of you who like the black magic stuff. And it's just a tool, you know, like if you want to be a videographer or a filmmaker, I mean, it's all about uh, a creative vision and knowing how to execute that and then finding the right tools for it. And right now the Red Komodo is the right tool for me, um, but I've made it this far without it. So you can too. It's not necessary. Don't let it discourage you. Um, or anything like that, I could keep doing what I'm doing without it. So now I want you guys to click off this video after you put a comment below of what you wanna see about the red and give this video a like. But after that, I want you to go out and film a bunch of stuff, start a YouTube channel, get that client, do whatever you had in your head that you were gonna do and uh, use whatever tool that you have in your possession right now and make it happen. Um, thanks for watching guys. Uh, appreciate you all. I'll see you in the next one.